All right, so we have one more um, word problem with quadratics, uh, dealing with ones that are factorable. Um, so we're trying to solve a landscaping problem. It says a rectangle garden is 30 feet by 40 feet. Part of the garden is removed in order to install a walkway of uniform width around it. The area of the new garden is one half the area of the old garden. How wide is the walkway? So we need to draw a garden and we have a pathway walking all the way around of uniform width. So initially it says that the garden is um, 30 by 40. So we'll say that's 40, that's 30. And then um, we are talking about a uniform width of a sidewalk going all the way around or a walkway, but we don't know what that is. So that length right there is X and that length right there is X. So if you saw the last video, it's very, very similar to the picture frame um, where you had a thickness of a picture frame that was the same all the way around. Um, so we could treat it very, very similar. So it does say that the area of the new garden, which is in here, is one half the area of the old garden. Okay, so this value, they just don't straight up give it to us. We got to figure it out. So we have uh, original angle or original area. The original area was 30 by 40 were the dimensions on it, which made it 1200. So then that puts your new area at half of that. So our new area is going to be 600. Okay. Next thing is we need a formula. So we're talking about an area is going to equal a length times a width. Our area is 600. Our lengths and widths, that's gonna, we gotta figure that out. So it was 40 all the way across, but we're cutting an X and an X off of both sides. So that's gonna be 40 minus two X. And then we're doing the same thing here where we had 30 all the way across and we're cutting a two X away cause we're cutting an X off and an X off on each side. Okay. so. So that's what we got going on. Um, so it's one half the area. How big is the walkway? So how thick is it all the way around? So we have our dimensions. Our dimensions are 40 minus 2x times 30 minus 2x. And then we're going to solve this quadratic. So we're going to distribute. So 600 equals uh, 40 times 30 is 1,200. Uh, and then 40 times negative 2 is minus 80x. And then two time, negative 2 times 30 is negative 60x plus 4x squared. We're going to rearrange everything. We're going to subtract the 600 over here so we can solve our quadratic, setting it equal to 0. And then let me rearrange the order. So we got 4x squared minus 140x plus... 600. All right, so now that thing is factorable. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take a 4 out of every single piece. So that leaves x squared minus 35x plus 150. And then um, this is factorable. So I need two numbers that multiply to 150. That add up to 35, and those two numbers are 30 and 5, uh, both being negative. So then our solutions, setting this equal to 0 and solving it, we get 30. Setting this equal to 0 and solving it, we get 5. Um, so it seems like we get two different answers. However, one does not make sense because um, if you take 30, 30 is what we're cutting off of each side. Well, you only have 40. So if you cut 30 off here and 30 off here, you don't have a length anymore. So 30 is too much, but five could work. Um, so if you cut five off of here and cut five off of here, you'd be cutting 10. So that would make this dimension 30. And then if you cut five and five off of the 30, that's gonna leave you with a 20 and 20 by 30 would be 600. So five is gonna be it. So we're looking at, uh, it says, how wide is the walkway? And these are in feet, so five feet 
is the width of the walkway all the way around. All right, and that was our fourth example of a word problem.